Hey, good morning, y'all. Hey, hey, Jesus is Lord and redemption belongs to you, but you're going to have to say it. Christ hath, past tense, redeemed you from the curse of the law, and one of the heavy curses is sickness and disease. And the Bible says Jesus bore your sicknesses, carried your diseases, and with his stripes ye were healed. Now, I told you this yesterday, but I want to do it again. They brought all kinds of sicknesses and diseases to Jesus. The disciples did, others did, and he healed every one of them. Not one disease was too big for him to heal, and I got good news. Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. So let me just read a couple others and share one little testimony with you over this. But he says here that, uh, <clears throat> um, let's see, the Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs and with a sore botch that thou cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. Now watch. I'm redeemed from that. Several years ago now, five or six, maybe seven, I started having some real pain and some trouble in my left knee. And the devil began to say, well, you know, you're getting older and your knees are wore out. You know, Moses was 120 under that old covenant. And it says his natural strength abated not and his eyes grew not dim. He didn't wear out his body just because he was 120. Caleb said when he was 85 years old, he said, just like the promise of God was there uh, 45 years ago, I was 40 when God gave it to me, I'll go take my mountain. His body didn't wear out, so he couldn't go in for war. And he decided to go do it by himself if he had to. So <clears throat> I started having real pain in that leg. I could hardly walk. I couldn't sleep good at night. I'd lay there in pain at night and just cry. And I remembered this scripture, and I went to it, and I said, Lord, you said right here that I shall be smitten in the knees, but that's under the curse, and I'm redeemed from that. And then the devil says, well, you know, brother so-and-so, pastor friend of mine, he just had to have knee surgery. I said, I don't care. Uh, I'm redeemed, and I don't have to have that. In fact, I'll read it one day down here. It says you're redeemed from the sword. That's a cutting instrument. I don't have a problem with people that have surgery. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying don't use the doctors and don't have the surgery. I'm just saying I'm redeemed from it. And so I began to pray that and believe that and apply the blood of the lamb to my knee. And after a couple of days, I said, Lord, I've got to have some help here. Show me what to do. And I believe the Lord showed me this. I'm not saying it would work the same for you. But he said, go get you a brace, a kind of expensive one, that'll hold that knee in place and wear it. Wear it 24 hours a day. Sleep in it. Keep that knee from moving. I said, okay. I did that. I slept in it. I took it off to take my shower. I put it back on. And on the fourth day, I woke up the next morning. Boy, and I said, that did it. Praise God. That's done. I wasn't talking about the way it felt. I was talking about what I heard in my spirit. I said, Jesus bore that price, and I'm redeemed from being smitten in the legs and in the knees. And boy, I mean, you know, boy, healing came, and I got up and run around the house and did a walk up the road, and everything's been fine ever since. Now watch. A couple of years later, I had a little tinge of pain in that same leg, but this time I said, uh-uh, no, no, I'm redeemed from that. Jesus paid the price for it, and the Bible says somewhere in Proverbs, this sickness shall not come a second time. Well, now watch. I'm going to go deeper than you're ready for. The sickness that went on Jesus is not going to come on me the second time because I'm the redeemed. So anything that you can find that's bothering you is of the devil. You have a right to cast it off. Now, uh, let me just read this one in closing this today. It says that you'll have problems in your mind. Let's see. With madness. I'm in verse uh, 28. Be smitten with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. I'm redeemed from Alzheimer's and... and uh, uh, dementia and, and, oh, I had a senior moment. I don't have senior moments. Uh, the Lord renews my youth like that of the eagle. So I don't have senior moments. And, and the memory of the just is blessed. I'm quoting you a lot of verses that I can't give you the reference to, but all of that is in the word. But be, I'm redeemed from having madness or losing my mind. Listen, uh, where the spirit of the Lord is, there's no fear. And God has given me a sound mind and I have the mind of Christ. So I'm not losing my mind. And thou shalt grope at noonday. Um, 
uh, as the blind gropeth in the middle of the day. So he's saying, you won't know where to go. You won't know what to do. You won't know when to come in. You won't know where to go out. I'm redeemed from losing my mind. I'm redeemed from my mind becoming mush. Or somebody says, well, you know how it is when you get old. Your memory's not worth a toot. A my memory's getting better because I'm on the increase and I'm redeemed from losing my mind. That's what it says in the word here. And it says here, only thou shalt be oppressed. I'm redeemed from oppression. That's a spirit anyway. It's the spirit of the devil comes around and oppresses you and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. No man's got to save me. Jesus has already done, done it. Well, a lot of curses here. But one of the main curses is any kind of sickness or disease. A scab, you know, a, a, in, in, a, a eczema, uh, that stuff on your face, acne, all of that. You're redeemed from that. Jesus paid the total price for your body from the very top of your head to the soles of your feet. Now watch. Somebody asked me one day, well, Frank, how you doing? I said, man, I'm doing great. I'm blessed. Well, what do you mean by that? I said, I got all my hair, got all my teeth. I, 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 I said, I still got my original wife, got all my kids. We're blessed of God. Uh, you know, I've got a good job. That's, you know, sharing the word with you. I said, my bills are paid. My needs are met. I am a very blessed man because I'm redeemed from the curse, which is basically oppression, sickness, disease of any kind, uh, poverty, lack, doing without, physical and spiritual death, I'm redeemed from all of that, so I have to say so when somebody says, how you doing? Redeemed? Well, I want to know how you really are. Blessed? Uh, well, you don't look blessed. Has nothing to do with it. God says I'm blessed, and I'm going to say I'm blessed. So your redemption draweth nigh when you say it. I had this little note come from a lady the other day, Annette. Well, do you have to believe it when you say it? No. <laughs> redemption is not based on what I believe. Redemption is based on what Jesus did. And since he paid the price for it, I don't have to, but I'm going to say it whether I believe it or not. And the more I say it, the more I'm going to believe it because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So the more I say it, I hear it, I speak it, I believe it, and then it's going to come to pass. Redeemed. Good to be the redeemed from any kind of sickness. And I just got to read this to you just one more time today because I want you to get this. It says here in verse 60 and verse 61, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, the Lord has already redeemed us from it. The, how about that norovirus? It's going all over the world. I'm redeemed not going to come nobody in my family in Jesus' name or anybody that even listens to me and watches me every day because you are the redeemed. Say it, say it, say it. I'm the redeemed. Go around saying it all the time. Well, brother, how are you? Redeemed, blessed, and highly favored. Jesus is Lord. Saints, thank God the word works.